How's it going everybody? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to export your videos for YouTube. So this is gonna be a super quick tutorial, so let's just get right into it. So this is just what I'm working on right now. This is just a project, it's an interview that I'm editing. All right, so to export, Command M, and then what you're gonna do in the format, you're gonna to go to H.264. This is for YouTube. H.264 means that it's gonna compress it and it's gonna make it look a lot muddier. But YouTube does that already and you will literally see no difference if you export from ProRes than H.264 to YouTube. So there's two presets that I use. I use match source high bitrate and I use YouTube 1080p or YouTube 4K if I'm feeling fun. But most likely I'm gonna be exporting in YouTube 1080p and right away you can see the estimated file size jump up to 463 megabytes from 293. It's literally on Premiere for YouTube. I, I use this and I am happy with the footage. I mean, it's not the best looking footage, but it's good for YouTube. Now, if I was exporting for a client, which I'm doing with this video here, or a film festival, or anything that is not YouTube pretty much, because YouTube will compress it and it doesn't matter. So H.264 estimated file size is 293 megabytes. Now look at it when we switch over to QuickTime. It is not even available, but trust me, it's a lot bigger. Um, so we're gonna go to QuickTime, NTSC DV 24, because we don't want widescreen, we just want regular QuickTime. And then what we're gonna do for the video codec is go to Apple ProRes. So for your codec, I will use ProRes 422. You don't have to use it. You can do a little bit of research on what's the best. I know that there's like, oh, well, the proxy is, is a little bit better. There's high quality, blah, 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 blah. 422 is fine. It's what I use. It works. The benefits of this is it's going to be much higher quality. You're going to get that full resolution that you shot in. And the con to this is it's going to be a really heavy, big file size. And it's not going to be as easy to share. That's it. Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much it. So this was a really quick video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you learned something and then I hope that you can better yourself and get out there and go edit. I'll see you guys in the next one.